Written by Anna Kendrick, who grew up in Portland, Oregon, Scrappy Little Nobody depicts the actress's life in first person, starting where her acting career began at the ripe age of 12. It was then for the Tony-nominated performance in the musical High Society. Currently living in LA, Kendrick has since starred in roles where you may have seen her acting in movies like Twilight, Pitch Perfect, Into the Woods, and if that's not enough, she even had hit musical success in 2013 with the song Cups, also part of the film Pitch Perfect. I love, 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 love this book and highly recommend that you read it, even if you don't like reading, because the memoir talks about how we're all the same, regardless of what job we do. She's famous and everyone knows her because of her profession as an actress, but no different than the rest of us. This is what she does because it's her passion, it's what she's good at, nothing else would suit her and she would not keep that job long enough to collect her first paycheck. So what makes Anna Kendrick somebody that you actually want to read about? She's had her career for the last two decades, beginning so young, and she knew what it was like to work at a time when most of us only knew about growing up. So reaffirming that we're all the same, we all grow up, we all go to school, have friends, do stupid things for fun, etc, etc. This also makes her very different. And from her book, we learn that being a child star isn't everything that we thought it would be in terms of the glamour. It's just this very contradiction. The title itself touches directly on it, scrappy little nobody. Obviously a somebody because of her accredited fame, yet the short but tall order woman teaches us the true meaning of modesty is that we do whatever it is that's going to make us happy. From her young age, Kendrick was aware that she had to follow her dreams no matter what was going to happen, despite the fact that the industry she was choosing to go into had a low success rate, she knew that nothing else was going to make her happy enough to do well there anyhow. And her rise to fame was not by accident then. It was because of raw talent and the dedication of her parents maybe was luck, but her dedication was not. And we can see, you know, in other people when they have such a rare talent, we want to motivate them and spur them on. And by taking turns to driving her to all those auditions and deciding who would work and who would go without pay, they were able to give their daughter a chance in this world, something that they knew had to happen because of the talent she contained. So as somebody myself who also follows an artistic dream but struggles with manic depression, Anna Kendra's book was way more motivating than a lot of things I've ever read, and I've read a lot. How could she be so self-aware, so confident every step of the way? I felt like I was right beside her in her novel as a friend, somebody who had a real connection with her inside of that broad network. And anybody else who is out there that has a passion they want to pursue despite the obstacles in your way, this is a great book to read to propel you into achieving that main goal or even just keeping you moving on to the next one. So if you go to her website, scrappylittlenobody.com, you'll find various ways of purchasing her book all the way from Google Play to Amazon to iTunes. Get it now, today. Thank you for listening to my mini review on the book by Anna Kendrick, and please subscribe for more videos.